down on my best cologne Girl, I can't wait to see what you got on Yeah, whatever it is, I know it's hot Baby, your smile's gonna hit the spot As soon as my headlights shine on you This town ain't gonna know what to do We're tearing it up What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to drain, like flush most of your transmission fluid out, change the internal filter and the external filter. Um, I'm going to be using CAM2 um, ATF fluid. Um, it was recommended to me through Merchant Auto, um, which is on the west side of the state. Um, they are transmission Duramax specialists, so I'm going to go with them on there. I don't have a built transmission, otherwise I would have used the Transid because um, I know that stuff comes from Allison, it's recommended from them, but we're going to go with this. It's also recommended, or it's also within spec for them as well. Um, I got a GM internal trans filter. I'll leave a link for this in the description. GM recommends to change this filter during overhaul, which uh, basically means if you're doing any repairs on the transmission, um, heavy duty work, or a specialized, or uh, um, I'm sorry, approved through an Allison service technician. Um, I also got an Allison transmission external filter. I'll also leave the link in there where I got that as well. They recommend to change this filter every 50,000 miles. Um, I do it every other oil change. So um, that's about anywhere from 20, 25,000 miles. Um, I bought a GM gasket off of Amazon um, using their part number. That was the cheapest way I could find that. So I'm going to replace that as well. Um, it is a reusable gasket, however, I'm not sure if this has ever been done on this truck, so I went to go ahead and buy uh, the gasket just in case. Um, all you need is a 13 and a 15 millimeter socket um, for the drain plug and to pull that pan off. So, um, um, and then uh, when, when we drain this, we're going to get about 7 quarts out. Um, the transmission holds 16 to 17 quarts of fluid, so when I can get it all out, we're going to get most of it out. So. Um, I have actually two cases. I have 24 Colts in the garage. Um, so I'm going to do this now and I'm going to do it again right before winter so we can get most of the old transmission fluid out. So either way, um, I do want to give you guys a special thanks um, to all the subscribers out there. Um, we're getting clo closing in on 100 subscribers, which is really awesome. Um, so um, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because we got a lot of good stuff coming down to this Duramax. We're going to get her back up to basically brand new. Um, that's, that's the plan anyways. Um, and be incredibly reliable and really fast. So um, let's crawl underneath the truck and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right guys, here is where we're gonna be working for the next little bit of time. So here's your external to filter. It's right there, really easy, just pull it right off. Um, this is your transmission pan. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna pull this plug, we're gonna drain the fluid out of here. Uh, we're gonna take all of the bolts wrapping around the whole thing. Um, and they're everywhere. We're going to take all those out. We're going to drop this pan. We're going to clean it. The external filter is in here. We're going to change that. We're going to put this pan back all on with the new gasket. Uh, tighten the bolts back up. Uh, put our plug back in. And, uh, and start filling up the transmission fluid. Uh, so we're uh, to start out, we're going to pull this, this plug so we can get everything draining first. And then, uh, then we'll move on with the external filter. We'll pull that off and expect it. So as you can see, that uh, transmission fluid still looks really good, so I'm very happy with that. Um, my entire life I've always had transmission problems with vehicles, uh, mostly because of me, but either way, this fluid looks really good, so we'll be uh, happy that it looks clean. Um, 
So while that's draining, we're gonna pull out that filter real quick and move on. All right, we'll pull this off. This seems to be almost drained. Um, use a filter wrench or pipe wrench. I use a pipe wrench because typically when I take a filter off, I, uh, I don't put it back on. So if I destroy it, I destroy it. Uh, that's just my logic. And I should probably go the correct way to take it off. And then when you do take it off, there's a magnet right here. You want to take this out and inspect it. So I'll clean this all up. I have no shavings that I can see, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll clean this all up. I'll clean this up. I already cleaned the plug up. By that time, this should be, for the most part, pretty dry. Um, and then uh, we'll pull this those pan out real quick. All right, now that this is just simply dripping out, um, I traded a smaller catch can. Um, just for my oil just so that way we could take this out nice and easy um, there are 12 bolts holding on this whole um, transmission pan so we're gonna take them out that takes a 13 millimeter um, they shouldn't be on very tight I think they're either 15 or 17 pounds I'd have to look it up just to make sure foot pounds of torque um, to take those off so they shouldn't be on super tight we should be able to back them out I recommend doing all this by hand because this is all going into aluminum um, you don't want to just wrench them right out really super fast. You might ruin something. So either way, I'm going to pull these out real quick and uh, we'll, we'll slowly drop this whole pan out. There'll be a little bit coming out, like I said. Um, not too much to worry about. That's why I got this small pan. Alright guys, a um, little bit of a scare, I thought I was going to hit myself in the face with this pan. Um, once I dropped that out, the uh, internal filter actually came out and hit the bottom of that pan I thought I was going to drop it, so it's kind of funny. But either way, when I put the new one in, I'll show you guys where this was located and how to put it back in. Also how to pull it out as well. Um, looking at this trans fluid, it does not look very good actually. I thought it looked better when it was flowing. Um, it looks really dark. so. Um, this transmission fluid is probably fairly old, um, probably due for a change. Either way, um, I'm going to clean this all up. Um, I'm going to take this old gasket off and we will uh, we'll throw that in the trash. We'll clean this whole side up real quick and um, we'll be able to put that pan in there and with the, the new gasket filter, or I'm sorry, the new internal filter and uh, get it all going. All right, here's an in shot of our transmission. It's kind of cool to see. Either way, that hole right there. It's where your new transmission filter goes, the new one. Um, sometimes you can leave the O-ring in there uh, from the transmission itself. Um, however, that didn't happen here. Uh, make sure you want to put some type of uh, lubricant or whatever um, on your filter before you throw it in there. Um, I just stuck my finger in uh, the new trans fluid, uh, running around just the, just the tip of it right there ran it around there and we'll slide it in there you don't want to dry run it in you want to make sure it's wet before you throw it in there so put that in there um i didn't end up cleaning around that whole thing um doesn't look as good as the actual pan itself but as long as everything all these edges here are nice and smooth and clean of debris should be easy to come put back on so um we'll throw this internal filter on um we'll put that pan on and uh the external filter and we should be should be good to start filling her up 
All right, here's the new filter going in. So it just goes right in that hole. Just push it right up in there. There we go. We'll put this pan on. We should be all good to go. All right, here comes the pan. Um, made sure the gasket fit. Every all one of the holes lined up. Nice and good. We're good to go. You want to make sure that your drain plug is towards the rear of the truck. Um, and you can be a little bit hardy with this gasket. It's a rubber gasket and it's super thick. Um, so it's, uh, it's a little more forgiving than most other gaskets. So it slides on just like so. And then put these bolts in. You want to put these bolts in just like a star pattern, or at least tighten them anyways, just like you would do with a car or uh, the tires on your car. Um, and most other most other things that you do with multiple screws. So we're just gonna put four of these in here real quick. I'll speed this up. I'll get all these in there tight. These bolts. Don't have to go in super tight. They go in 15 foot pounds of torque tight. Um, so make sure you, you put them down at 15 foot pounds. You don't they don't have to be super tight. And then this plug right here goes to 17 foot pounds. So I'll put all these screws in real quick and uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna tighten this real quick. Alright, now that they're all in, I'm going to start right here with this top right one. Bring it down to hand tight. I'm going to do this bottom left one here. This is all the way towards the rear of the truck. I'm going to do this one over here. And this one, and you guys get the picture. All right, your washer's right here. You wanna make sure you put that on first. You don't want it chilling in the filter. Now I'm gonna put this filter on before I tighten all these all the way, those bolts, cause I uh, kinda getting sick of all this transmission fluid leaking on me. All right, just like, um, before, you want to put a little bit of new transmission fluid all over this, um, over the gasket when you put it on. Just put it on hand tight. You want to make sure you be able to get it off. Um, and then you put the, the fluid on the gasket so you can uh, get it on there and it doesn't rub while it's turning on. So we're going to tighten these up, or these bolts right here. Tighten them up. Like I said, these go to 15 foot-pounds. And then that plug will go to 17. So we'll get everything all in there tightened up. And then we should be able to add transmission fluid. Alright guys, here's our dipstick for the trans. Um, 
I'm going to add about six quarts to it, and then I'm going to fire the truck up, let it warm up, um, just get that get that pump moving, and uh, <clears throat> then we'll check our diff sick, and then we'll probably take it for a ride, uh, and then I'll add some more. Um, I should be around seven quarts is what I need, um, but we will uh, we'll double check that. We you don't want to overfill this transmission, um, so we're gonna we're gonna take baby steps, add a little bit at a time, and uh, and go from there. All right, before I add some of this, I forgot to mention when I first uh, started this video that I'm gonna add some of this stuff. I added it beforehand about maybe three months ago, um, just to uh, kind of clean everything all up. So. Um, I, uh, I I really like their their engine oil and their uh, injector cleaner, and I I've used that stuff for the last probably six months, and it seems very very good. So I'm gonna add this stuff in there as well, just kind of clean everything all out, and then in the fall time we'll uh, we'll have just straight transmission fluid in there. So I'm gonna dump some of this in there, and then uh, which is about, gonna be about eight ounces, um, and then we'll uh, we'll throw some tranny fluid in there. All right, this is court number six. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna fire up the truck. I'm gonna let it warm up, and I'll show you how to get everything all in and out and moving around uh, once we get inside the cab. And make sure your truck is perfectly level with this because you don't want everything. You don't want any air bubbles settling up to the top. You want it to get all the way through. So we'll uh, we'll go start this truck here real quick, and uh, I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> All right, guys, now that it's actually warming up, um, we're just going to kind of put it in neutral here for a second. Clear that, clear that. Um, go in reverse. What we want is that torque converter to start spinning around, moving around, pushing stuff around. We want the pump and transmission going. So we're going to drive. Kind of basically just play with all the gears. down into manual we'll shift up a little bit I'm just going about 10 seconds each ish um, that way we can get all that fluid pumping going to five then we'll hit number six I'm going to neutral Going to reverse. Going to drive. All right, now we're gonna go check that dipstick real quick and see what it looks like. Um, we'll add more fluid if it's still short. Um, it should be transcept is at 97 degrees right now, so it's it's pretty close to operational. It's only 60 degrees out or 66 degrees out, so. Um, we'll check that dipstick real quick. We'll see where it's at and uh, we'll add fluid accordingly. Okay, so we're barely on the dipstick. So I'm gonna add about two quarts and then uh, we'll, we'll go and throw them through all the gears again and then we'll, uh, we'll go and test it again. Back to reverse, go into neutral, go back into drive, go back into reverse. And you can see the transamp is getting up there now, it's at 104, so now we should be getting up into the warm stuff. Go and switch to our manual gears.
All right, now we're gonna go check it again. Okay, so now we're getting up there. We got a little bit of residual, so we're on the cold side still. So I'm gonna add one more quart, let it keep running for a little bit, and we'll probably end up taking it for a test drive. And when we get back, we'll check it again, and uh, just make sure everything's all good. All right guys, so what I did was I uh, ended up taking it for about a 15 minute test drive. I just kind of just drove around the country blocks, um, just kind of getting her warm every intersection. They're all stop signs out here. So I just put her in reverse, back up a little bit, put her in drive, keep moving. Um, trans temps is up to about, you know, 100 over degrees over ambient temperature. So transmission looks fine. Um, I don't have any leaks underneath the ground, um, or I'm sorry, underneath the truck. So I think we're all set. Um, as you saw, I'm right, right above at the full line so um we'll wait a little bit and get a little bit of air out and um you know we'll check it here in a couple days um other than that i think we are all set here all right guys uh this is going to wrap up this video um hope that you enjoyed it hope this really helps you out um that was the first time i've ever done anything like that on a new vehicle uh, much like the diff and the transfer case stuff that i've been doing uh recently so i, re I really want this truck up to be basically brand spanking new um, when I'm all done with it by next year. That's that's the plan anyway. So um, hopefully this video helps you out. Um, I ended up using nine quarts of transmission fluid and about eight quarts of that hot shot stuff. So that's about, or I'm sorry, eight ounces of that hot shot stuff. So um, use a little bit more than what, uh, what Duramax Hub says online, um, which is seven quarts um, on uh, what we just did on the fluid change. So transmission holds about 16, 17. So um, if you're going to buy something, make sure you buy at least like 12 quarts, um, or maybe three or four gallons just to make sure you have enough. If you want to use gallon jugs, um, I like using the quart stuff cause it's a lot easier for me to dump everything in. Um, I do know it's a lot cheaper to buy it in gallons. However, um, it's just easier for me to do it that way. Um, other than that, we are all set. Um, I, uh, I, I really thank you guys for, uh, for watching these videos. Um, I'm glad that they can help you guys out. So. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, you know, make sure you hit me up. Um, you can either leave a link in the comments or uh, or hit me up on Instagram. Um, my, uh, I'll leave my tag right here. Um, it's extraordinary um, Duramax on Instagram. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you guys like this type of content, um, I know you'll hit a like on there. So until um, next time, guys, I'll see you.